Hi, welcome to AFTV. It's now time for player ratings and I have Turkish joining me for this 2-0 um, victory against West Ham. Let's start with Aaron Ramsdale, the goalkeeper. Made made some made some key saves at, in some, at a crucial time, um, Aaron Ramsdale. What, 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 are you, what are you saying about Aaron Ramsdale as Turkish? What would you give him? Yeah, it, to best, he didn't have much to do, but there was one save in particular um, that he had to make. And I think that was at 1-0. I think Odegaard gave the ball away. Yeah. Um, just outside our box and resulted in a shot. Ramsdale done his thing. Um, aside from that, they didn't have much to do. I, I'd give him a seven. Seven, fair enough. Let's let's go to Tomiyasu, um, a, a guy that's, I mean, he's he's fine. Don't really see him get beat. I'm going to be honest. Every week I do these player ratings with Robbie, you, and <laughs> and he gets a solid result every time. Very consistent um, player. Yeah. What, what are you giving him today? I'm giving him an eight again, you know. Um, people right. might think, yeah, people might think that's high, but again, what I saw from him today, the the fact he's both footed, yeah, helps us so much. Yeah. And today it helps Saka a lot too because he was able to find him, you know, in key moments, in key areas, at the right times as well. So I think Tomiyasu, he's like an unsung hero at the moment. Um, it's another clean sheet. Uh, he's part of that defense. Um, I'm gonna give him an eight. Okay, fair enough. Let's go to Ben White. Hey, I'm, oh, that's, that's a good score. But let's go to Ben White. Um, ben White, not much to say today, to be honest. he done what he had to do. Um, West Ham didn't really pose much of a threat, if I'm honest with you. Yeah. Um, he played it out the back well a couple of times. Um, I think it was him who played it into Laka when Laka set up Martinelli for the goal. It was, it was Gabriel. It was Gabriel. But that, but that's still, Ben, Gabriel. I think you're right in what you're saying. Though. He was quite quiet apart from... Apart from really, he was yeah, yeah. Today. But clean sheet. Um, West Ham, you know, Antonio quiet. You know, we know he can cause problems. So I'll, I'll say seven, seven. Okay, now moving on to the person that you said so there, Gabriel. He's one that did pass the ball into Lacazette for giving it to Martinelli. I think, I mean, you. Look, I don't even say too much about Gabriel. I'm not going to speak too much because I'm, I'm biased. But go on. What are you going? What are you thinking about Gabriel today? Again, it's, it's similar to White for me, man. Um, with Gabriel, you, you, we've just come to expect it more because he's been at the club longer as well. Um, I think it's a solid performance. Done what he needed to do. He was aggressive when he needed to be. Um, not that that was much, if I'm honest with you. Again, West Ham didn't really pose much of a threat. And, you know, part of that's down to our unit and defensive structure as well. So, like Ben White, Gabriel's going to get a seven. Seven, OK, fair enough. Let's go to Kirantini, a man that you said should be the front runner for the captain's armband. Today, his performance, I mean, I didn't, we, didn't see, we didn't see too much of him, but he done his job. Um, what should, would you give Kirantini? Seven again. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's fair. I think Tommy Asu was just a standout because of his passing and whatnot and how he aided Saka. Um, but Tierney, for me, he's just, he, 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 he does what it says on the tin now. He's one of them players, you know. The bare minimum you're going to get from him is a five, six out of ten performance. Um, today, like you said, he was quieter than usual, but at the same time, he hit the crossbar with a 30-yard, you know, oh, half yeah. volley, volley. So, yeah. you know, on another day that goes in and, I think that was at nil nil breaks the deadlock and you know it's 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 all mad. That but was a good strike. Tierney for me, yeah, he he just resembles a leader. Outside looking in, I look at him and his time at Arsenal and moments that's occurred, and I just you know think Tierney is the obvious candidate. He's obviously part of this leadership group. He's the newest addition to the leadership group, um, yep. and in all honesty, he's got the longest career at Arsenal in that leadership group. So. Let's hope he can stay injury free. I think that'll play a part too. I think that's what a lot of fans tell me when I say Tierney for captain. They say, you know, his injuries, he's not, you know, 30 for first team. You know, hopefully he can eliminate that. And by the end of the season, it's it's a it's a given. Yeah, definitely. Let's move over to Bakayo Saka. Now he was awarded the man of the match um by the BT Sport Pundits. So what what did you give? I think he was he was superb today, by the way. Yeah. Um but what, what rating are you? What rating are you looking to give Bukayo Saka for today's performance? Probably Saka's best performance of the season. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I have. I might have to agree with that. Oh, course, he, probably. Yeah, he's been. He's had a lot of dips in form throughout the season. I don't yeah. think he's hit, he's hit his full potential this season at all. But today, I think you're right. There, this yeah. might be his his performance of the season so far. Yeah, um, he, you know, drib, drib, yeah, on the ball, dribbling, he was efficient. Yeah. Passing, efficient. Creating problems, creating chances, efficient. Um, man of the match, obviously, I would have given it to somebody else, but I also understood Saka as well, especially in that yeah. first half. Um, when compared to Martinelli, I think Saka had the better first half. Um, and even in the second half, he he obviously added he added something too. Uh, I'll give Saka an eight. 
and eight. Yeah, I think that's a fair enough result there. Let's go to Thomas Partey in that mid in that middle. Um, ah, this is yeah, in, this is an interesting one, Turkish. I must say, yeah, I think he had a good game, but Thomas Partey ah, hasn't really hit. He, de he definitely hasn't hit his ceiling at all at Arsenal so far. And I'm not saying he 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 was he had a bad performance, but I do expect still a lot more of him. But um, what would you give him today? Yeah, still expect a lot more. Like this, this ain't the Thomas Partey I know, but it's better than the Thomas Partey I've seen recently. Um, yeah, yeah, fair. fair. <laughs> I, I, I think the first twenty minutes was jarring. You know, I think West Ham were doing well in closing down the space to get him the ball, so we had to bypass Partey a lot, um, which kind of led to us looking like we had no ideas left. Um, obviously, that that was you know a mistake, and you know we still took it to them, but. In the in those twenty minutes, I thought to myself, Partey needs to, you know, do something now. And in in the end, when you know, he uh, between a mix of him doing that something and West Ham thinking they can get more of a foothold in the game, Partey grew into the game as well. Um, probably one of his better performances in recent weeks. Still nowhere near the Partey, you know, I'd expect to see. Yeah, but I think today, bearing in mind as well, he's up against Suchek and Rice and. And uh, before the game, you know, it, it, when, when compared in combined 11s and all that, everyone was, you know, picking Suchek and Rice, including me. I think you got to take that into consideration too. They didn't really have much say in the game at all. So for me, Partey, seven. Seven. OK, let's go to his partner in that midfield there, Granite Xhaka. Today, I think, actually had a had a good game. I'm going to be honest. I think he had a good game um, today. He didn't do anything too crazy, outlandish and... And you know, I think I think he I think he was in there and doing his job pretty well today. What do you think? What were you giving Granite Xhaka today, Turkish? Yeah, you know, it's it's not like Thomas Partey where I expect a lot more. Do you get what I'm saying? With with Xhaka, I think today was a game where you know it, it, it's it's good. You know, um, yeah. no mistakes. He he broke the lines well. I think when Partey was struggling in that first twenty minutes or so to receive the ball, I think he could have helped a bit more. But in the end, he was very vocal about you know changing up the movement. You could I could see him on the pitch instructing and yeah, you know people call him a leader. Um, and today, you know, like I said again, I can't I can't say one thing for Partey and the other for Jacker. I think in all honesty, performance wise, both are six. But when you come up against Suchek and Rice, who have you know been consistently good for a couple of years that pushes both up to a seven so Xhaka for me seven as well seven okay fair enough now Gabriel Martinelli he would be he'd have been mine uh my man of the match today um f he was flowing today he was absolutely yeah. absolutely flowing um got his goal and you saw we saw moments of brilliance and it's a shame because he's, he's got it in him and I feel like Arte, not that Arteta kills creativity but I've seen enough now to say that Martinelli's got it in him um we didn't see enough from Pepe, unfortunately, but Gabriel Martinez definitely has it. And when he's playing with that confidence, we see a, a high, a high quality player in him. So uh, yeah, let's talk to me on, on Gabriel Martinez for his performance today and, and his score. I'm happy for him, man. Listen, that's one player that I needed to kick into action because um, a lot's been said about him. We have a lot of hope in him, but you know, so far this season, it hadn't worked until the last couple of games. And since he's come back in, we, you know, regardless of the goals and regardless of creating chances and, and how he helped Odegaard score the other day. He's he's just got something about him, a star quality. You yeah. know, he's got he's got an edge about him that, you know, we need to see more of. Um it's it's hard in such a young team as it is. It's mad to be wanting to add more youngsters into it. But that's where we are at the moment. You know, the yeah, youngsters amen. the youngsters are the shining light. So we want to see a lot more of them. At the same time we can't put too much pressure on them. But Martinelli, you know, he was unlucky the other day, hit the post. It was a it was a great effort. Like I said, he helped Odegaard, you know, with a bit of, you know, dark hearts, let's say, and getting in front of the defender. Today, that goal for me, I said it on the stream on Riesk, like the touch inside, beautiful, opened up, bottom corner, finish, smooth. Oh, um, Fabianski, Fabianski's a good keeper. You know, he, he knew he was going that bottom corner, but there's nothing he could do about it. And that was what, you know, Henri was all about. Every every keeper knew where he was going. They just couldn't do anything about it. And yeah. for me, Martinelli, that finish on top of you know moments like you said straight after that, I think he's not makes Suchek <laughs> disgusting. Um, you know, Martinelli just he's Brazilian, so he's got that about him too. But at the same time, you know, in, in the Premier League, it we it demands a lot. But he also he looks like he's got that about him too. Like he can cope with the rigors. He can 
He's, he, you know, I say he can cope with the rigors, but I mean that in a sense where he's on it. Injury yeah. wise, injury wise, he has picked up a few knocks, which is kind of concerning. But in terms of his attitude and whatnot, it's very much he's on it. He's got that kind of Sanchez slash Suarez kind of the bite on the yeah, the gr- yeah, 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 that grit, yeah. Yeah, like hopefully that. the injuries are behind him, similar to Kieran Tierney, and and we can see him kick on as well. Okay, score. Oh shit! I didn't give him. I'm gonna give him eight and a half because he he was my man of the match. Okay, perfect. Eight and a half. Let's quickly fly through. So we have got Martin Odegaard next for you. He's had a lot of crit- not a lot of criticism because he's he's been free and free. But um, when it comes to goals, uh, he's been scoring from that midfield, but didn't get his goal today. However, still for me, I think he led the press very well. Um, but what do you give him as on a score today for Martin Odegaard? Yeah, I think first half quiet in terms of the attacking front. Um, in terms of the press, he's He's, he's very good at that. He's mature in his age for the for that pressing nature of a team. You can see he's he 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 kind of enjoys that as well, as yeah. creating chances and that side of the game. But again, he was quiet in the first half, grew into the second half. Um, but yeah, I've seen better older guy. I think today for me, six, just above average. Okay, six. Um, Lacazette obviously uh, won the penalty, got Kufau, um sent off as well. Had a good game, was a captain today, um, led by example, in my opinion. Um, Lacazette for you, Turkish. Should have buried the penalty, man. He, oh. you know, he, he would have been man of the match oh, if he buried it. Yeah. He, would have, he would have been man of the match if he buried the penalty. But that goes to just like say how good a game he had. Um, creating chances. He, he, he won um, free kicks in and around the box for us. He... Um, he always, you know, he always drops in and puts his body about and whatnot. Yeah, he was yeah, winning yeah. tackles. So for me, regardless of the penalty he missed, I think he added a lot and his assist was nice for Martinelli right. to wait as well. Eight for me, eight. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's fair. It's a shame he missed that penalty because that would have yeah. really boosted him up. Um, let's just quickly fly through the subs. Um, so we got Emil Smith Rowe came on, um, got his goal as well. Uh, score for Emil Smith Rowe. Yeah, Emma Smith Rowe came on. He was quiet for a little bit, but then he burst into action and got the goal. Um, and what more do you want from someone who comes off the bench? If they score, it doesn't matter how quiet they was up until scoring. They they secured the bag, let's say. Yeah, and, and a that, well that, taken that, goal as yeah, well. Yeah, very well taken because he had options. And, you know, in, in those moments, there's pressure because if you miss, our players are going to be like, oh, you should have passed it. Mm-hmm. But weaker foot, you know, he not only did he, not only was he confident to take it on, he was confident enough to do the keeper as well. You, you know, the keep Fabianski was flat footed. Yeah. You know, yep. it was a very nice finish on his weaker foot. So for me, I'm, I'll give him a seven. Okay, fair, fair. Yeah. Let's go to um Eddie and Ketter came on for Martinelli after Marte had to come off. Uh, we don't know what it was due to injury cramp. I don't know. Five. I don't even, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't see Eddie and Ketter get involved yeah, too much. Five. I'm gonna be honest. Um Nuno Tavares came in for Lacazette. I thought, I thought that'd be an, that was an odd change, but I didn't really see. Five as well, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, let's go. Know. Let's go to the referee because now this is quickly. This is a controversial one because I think before we go to Mikata, I think West Ham fans maybe hot, felt hard done by um, with the penalty decision and the red card. Um, I watched back the penalty, and if it was the other way around, I would be pretty annoyed. Um, I don't think I don't know if it was a penalty, but like you said in the stream. There was a red card incident with um, when when Ramsdale when Ramsdale cleared it, and um, their player w- was was late getting to the ball. So yeah. it's it, you know it does balance itself out. But what do you think about the ref today um, and his performance? Yeah, the, the moments you mention, you know, you can you you can knock him for it. I think Moyes has come out already and said that it, it probably was a penalty. Um, oh wow! He should have got more contact on the ball, but. Like like you said, I would have been annoyed if it was given against us, but it is what it is. I think Antonio was high in the first half, and regardless of contact on Ramsdale, in modern day, yeah, they talk about intent and whatnot. Mm. If Ramsdale stays there, that is hitting his shin, and that's a red card. But because he's got out of the way of it, they're dismissing it. So I don't really know what it is, but if, I, if we're going by modern day, then that's a red card. It wasn't to be. At the end of the day, we won 2-0. I'll yeah. give the ref a free. Fair enough, bad. Um, and then lastly, uh, Mikel Arteta, Turkish. Um, 
Yeah, a big one. I have to deal with a lot this week with the Aubameyang thing. I think every he was getting questioned about it so much, all his press conferences, um, pre-match as well. It probably will continue to be spoken about. Um, but stayed focused, got the lads up for it. I think you, I did speak about the second half and you also highlighted it, that the boys came out better in that second half as well, um, which, which is what we wanted to see from the Arsenal side, um, trying, to, trying to finish off a game. So yeah, what would you give Mick Arteta today? I'm going to have to give him probably a 10 today, you know. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to give him a 10. Because you have to you have to see how much pressure he was under, number one. Yeah. He coped with that. He's stuck by his guns, not only against Southampton, but against a better test in West Ham and the same team that let him down and let us down against Everton. We got a clean sheet. West Ham didn't pose a threat. Arsenal looked, you know, quite good at times in terms of the attacking play and transition. Yeah, the push on Martinelli might might knock it down. Or you, or you, you know, in hindsight, if it, it it looks like it is cramp, if it is cramp, I understand that. You know, I actually understand that. But you know, if it, at the time it looked like it wasn't cramp, it looked like it was a knee issue, and he's pushing him back on. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, I'm not going to knock him for it. Um, if it is an injury and we hear Martinelli's out for three weeks or so, and then then come back to me about him, yeah, really nothing, but, <laughs> yeah, fair, fair, um, fair, fair. yeah. So what, then, part. yeah, yeah. I think he does. I think you know. Obviously, I knock him when he needs to be knocked, and and I'll praise him when he needs to be praised. And I think he's stuck by his guns. I thought we'd draw today. We won, and we won comfortably against yeah. an opposition that was above us. We're now above them. We're in a position I didn't think we we're going to be in December. So. You know, with the knocks come the praises, and here's the praise. Fair, fair. Hey, Mikel Arteta gets a 10 from Turkey. And do you know what? Fair enough. Um, I think you're right there. A lot of pressure this week uh, they, that he was under, and, and he survived it um, with yeah. flying colours. So, yeah, okay. So, that's it. 10. I mean, your man, the match, he did substitution, so. His substitution come on, and then Mill Smith Rowan scored. It scored, yeah, you know? yeah, fair. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, hey, making a good case for it. Uh, it makes sense. It makes full sense. Um, so, man, the match for you, you did say was, was Lacazette. Um, nah. Mark? Martinelli. Martinelli, sorry, 8.5. Um, Martinelli, yeah. then um, a 10 for Mikel Arteta. We'll leave it there. Um, as we weren't at the game, we can't really rate the fans. Um, but thank you, everyone, everyone, for watching. Let us know your comments and let us know your player ratings in the comments below as well. Um, do you agree with the 10 for Mikel Arteta today? Do let us know. Don't forget to hit a like and we'll see you next time on AFTV.